Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4135 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 27 moves to clear out 118 jelly, and these jelly are really trapped under very thick toffee locked up in licorice, and very thick frosting, isolated, and marmalade, oh, everything is here. So we're going to have to... Um, figure out a way to take out all of these blockers. I've got five colors on the board, so it's gonna be hard to make matches and specials. I have dispensers and I have bobbers. So if the fish are helpful, this might work. But it is listed as a hard level, so I might be here for a while. If you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. Notice that as I'm doing this, first of all, I've noticed that it took three turns for a stripe to come down. That's pretty typical. But I'm also looking at trying to take out as much jelly as I can. Because when I set off the fish, they are going to go to areas where they're needed. And anywhere there's jelly, they are needed. So if I can do my job of taking out a lot of jelly, maybe then and toffee and everything else, then maybe their work will be less. I'm debating coming up this way or coming down here. I think I want to preserve this wrapped candy and make the stripe go this way. I sent off quite a few fish. They weren't bad. And now if I can drop these things down further, maybe I can get a combo. Yeah, it's kind of tough to do. No combo, but I did send those wrapped into the bobbers so the fish could help out it. Oh gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Send out fish. Send off those wrapped candies, I guess, as soon as I get them. I'd like to set them up with other specials but they seem to be in such a position that it's tough to do. Now look at everything I've got. I can make this stripe, or this stripe, or this stripe. I'm gonna go with this, and then this. <sighs> Those did turn out as beautifully as I had hoped. Let's just keep making stripes and other things that can help. There we go, we're opening this up. I'm gonna set off that stripe. I still feel like eventually I'll be able to get a wrapped, wrapped combo, and that's what's gonna help me win. Yeah, but I just cannot. <laughs> it takes a lot of coordination. I'm not very coordinated, obviously. Oh, all of these possibilities that I just can't quite get to work. Can I do a stripe trapped combo? At least I get a stripe trapped combo. It's not spectacular, but it will hit a lot of bobbers, and so it will send off a lot of fish. It'll hit these guys, which will hit more bobbers. It'll hit this, which will blow a few things up. At least we'll end up closer than I feared we would just a moment ago. Not too close, though. Still 34 jelly, mostly in these bottom areas. I need to figure out a better way to coordinate the specials that I'm already getting on the board. I'm going to have to pay more attention to when these drop and how I can try to maybe open up the bottom area more quickly so that the wrapped candy can float down here and nest together so I can do wrapped wrapped combos on both sides of the board or a beautiful striped wrapped. I'm going to pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off until I have something important to share.
So I'm thinking this is how we beat this game. Now I just need a wrapped candy to hit a bobber to send out more fish, right? That's what I need, whether or not I can get that. There we go, got it. Okay, that's how I beat that one in under five tries. It just takes a lot of explosive force in trying to get those uh, specials together to make a good combo. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.